Welcome to this Draw My Life about Chucky. After an unsuccessful robbery, Charles Lee Ray was being chased by the police. They proceeded to fire on him, critically injuring him. He stumbled into a toy store and saw one of the most popular dolls. He was voted to transfer his soul into the doll, but just a doll was not enough for Charles. He wanted a human body. Using this doll, he wanted to trick a little boy to transfer his soul into this new body. The chosen one was Andy, whose mother gave him this doll as a birthday present. However, the doll had another plan. He wanted to use Andy so he would get his revenge. After Chucky killed several people, the police thought Andy was the author of the murders, so he gets transferred to a mental hospital. But Chucky wants to go through with his plans, and he decides to sneak in the hospital to get what he wants. Andy's body. The boy finally runs away, and when he arrives to his house, Chucky is already waiting for him, and he hits Andy with a baseball bat. When he regains consciousness, the voodoo ritual was almost ready. However, he managed to throw Chucky into the fire, and then Andy's mother proceeded to fire at him until one of the bullets went through his heart. This is how the nightmare came to an end. After this horrible experience, Andy and his mother decided to file a complaint against the Good Guys company. To prove their bad publicity wrong, the creators of the Good Guy dolls decided to rebuild Chucky, who is then brought back to life. Chucky is ready to fulfill his mission. He wants to take revenge on Andy and transfer his soul into the boy's body. Andy is taken to an orphanage and is separated from his mother. But this is not going to stop Chucky. He finds Andy, kills his foster parents, and takes him to the toy factory. Then, he tries to transfer his soul into the kid's body, but it's too late. He is condemned to live in the toy's body for the rest of his life. Chucky is very mad and tries to kill Andy. However, Andy's stepsister helps him killing the toy, using the machines they found in the factory. They leave Chucky's corpse there, and it goes over a vat of liquefied plastic. Some of his blood leaks out into the vet, bringing him back to life once more to kill Andy, who is now 16 years old and lives in a military school. Andy is already grown up, so Chucky loses interest in him and decides to find another victim. Tyler. After killing a lot of people at the military school, Tyler gets to run away, but Chucky finds him inside a theme park ride. Andy finds out about what's happening and decides to help Tyler. Andy shows up when Chucky's about to perform the ritual. The doll is killed by Andy when he's thrown into a giant fan, tearing his body into pieces. Everyone thought that the nightmare had come to an end, but Tiffany, Chucky's girlfriend, using parts of other dolls and his remains, sews him back together and attempts to resurrect him. However, she is very disappointed to see nothing's happen and locks him in a room. Chucky kills Tiffany and then gains further revenge by transferring her soul in the bridal door. Then, together they keep looking for the heart of Dambala, which is what they need to find new bodies. Everything changes when they have a son, called Glenn. He lives with a ventriloquist and decides to escape and find his parents to resurrect them. Chucky is happy because he can leave Glenn his legacy. However, the boy turns out to be good. Tiffany wants to transfer her soul into an actress's body, but Chucky decides to get her pregnant with his evil babies, and she soon gives birth to twins. Chucky tries to kill Tiffany while she tries to transfer her soul into a new body. Glenn attacks Chucky and finally kills him. Tiffany finally gets to transfer her soul into the actress's body and divides Glenn's soul to transfer it into the twins. The girl gets Glenn's evil part and the boy gets the good one. Four years later, a parcel is delivered to them. When they open it, they find Chucky's arm inside. Chucky still wanted to get revenge, so he chose a new victim. Alice is a girl that quickly adopts him as a new good guy doll when he mysteriously arrives in the mail. Alice's aunt, Nika, thinks that the doll is linked to several murders in the family, but before she kills Chucky, the police arrests her and she is found guilty for Chucky's crimes, so she ends up in prison. Chucky performs his ritual with Alice, but her granddad stops him and sends the doll to his first owner, Andy. Chucky thinks he will be able to kill his old owner, but Andy already knows how the doll attacks, so before he can react, Andy shoots and finally kills Chucky. Even if he did kill Chucky, wickedness is always around the corner. If he came back several times, he can do it again. Whatever happens, we know that it might happen one day. Chucky could come back. If you liked today's Draw My Life, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Tell us in the comment section down below what would you like to see next time. Bye!